stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello. Good morning, Allegheny. It is I, John Toothaker. Now we have a few announcements today. Attention all students, this is very important. Please take responsibility for yourself when it comes to online learning. All of your teachers will have some form of a Google Classroom. If you have not received an email with an access code to your classes, then you should email your teacher directly to inquire about the class code. Be aware that each individual class will require a unique code. Most students will have between five to seven codes that you will need to join each individual class. If you do not have internet or computer access, packets for the core content classes will be made available. Look for details soon. Any student that wants to join robotics team should send Mr. Dennison an email to start online lessons in a week. Seniors, remember to fill out the Google form for your senior shirt. Right now, they are trying to get gather information on what size each of us want. And now over to sports with David. Welcome back everybody to Sports in Quarantine. There's not a lot to report on today, so we're just going to jump right into things, starting out with our This Day in Sports, which is going to take us back to 1980, and we're going to go to the NHL this time. It's the first time we're not going to cover uh, March Madness Tournament victory, because as you know, March is now over. So, in the NHL, the Michael Jordan of the NHL, Wayne Gretzky, the undisputed greatest player of all time. He scored a goal for Edmonton in a one-to-one tie over the Minnesota or against the Minnesota North Stars, and this would make him the youngest player in NHL history to reach 50 made goals. Uh, he was 19 years and two months at the time. Speaking of Michael Jordan, the undisputed greatest NBA player of all time, the man whose jersey I have on currently, the Last Dance documentary, which will be about him and the Bulls teams of the late 90s is going to be moved up to the end of April from its original planned June release date. Uh, the dates for the release of this will be April 19th, April 26th, May 3rd, May 10th, and May 17th. Those of you who don't know, The Last Dance is going to be a documentary series on ESPN. There will be 10 episodes, and it is about the uh, Bulls teams of the late 90s, as I said. Uh, back then, the Bulls teams actually allowed a camera team to follow them, so we're going to get a lot of never-before-seen footage, and there will be a lot of interviews from different people. I think they interviewed upwards of 100 people that uh, were close to the organization, close to Michael Jordan. So it's about the Bulls, but it's going to obviously center on Michael Jordan as he was the main interest, the best player, you know, just what people cared about the most when they thought of those Bulls teams. So moving on from that, the NCAA is extending eligibility for all spring athletes, not winter athletes, so basketball players, uh, any seniors from this year that didn't get to play in the tournament, they're not getting that extra year of eligibility. But uh, baseball players, softball players, any sort of spring athletes are going to be given an extra year of eligibility due to the coronavirus canceling their seasons. And then finally, the only bit of NFL news that I have for you today Chris Godwin, wide receiver for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, if you didn't know, wears number 12. And that's obviously conflicting because Tom Brady also wore number 12 his entire career, and now he's a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. Well, Chris Godwin announced that he's going to wear number 14 this year, so Tom Brady can actually wear number 12. So that's all I have, ladies and gentlemen. Back to Tyler, or John, or whoever's hosting. Oh boy, thank you so much, David. Now let's get right into the weather with Eric. Here's your five-day weather forecast for Conlon, Maryland. Uh, today, we are going to be mostly sunny with our high temperature getting up to 54 degrees and our low temperature tonight dropping down to 37 degrees. Uh, no chance of rain today nor tonight. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we will also uh, remain mostly sunny with our high temperature getting up to 58 degrees and our low temperature tomorrow night dropping down to 39 degrees. Saturday, we will also uh, remain mostly sunny with our high temperature 
are getting up to around 64 degrees and our low temperature Saturday night dropping down to 43 degrees. Uh, we will become mostly cloudy though Saturday night and then uh, we will be partly sunny on Sunday with our high temperature getting up to around 66 degrees and our low temperature Sunday night dropping down to around 44 degrees. Uh, Monday, uh, we might get a little break and we'll be mostly sunny with a high temperature getting up to around 69 degrees and our low temperature Monday night dropping down to 50 degrees. But uh, that break will be uh, short in the clouds as we will uh, cloud back up again Monday night becoming mostly cloudy and we'll see our first chance of rain showers. So uh, on the broad scale, we're really going to enter a pretty peaceful weather pattern and uh, that's very good. We really don't need much else on our minds right now. But again, you can see uh, pretty nice weather and uh, with our next chance of rain showers not showing up till Monday night. So uh, that's all I got for the weather forecast. Remember, you can always go to weather weatherfix.net for uh, more weather updates. So uh, that's all I got. Stay tuned, everyone. Quite a weather report. Thank you so much, Eric. And finally, here's a video from Ellie. Oh boy, I sure did enjoy that video with Allie. So now, remember to tune in on Mondays and Thursdays for updates and new information. Have a safe weekend, and stay healthy, Allegheny.